guys, I'm finally back with another tutorial and I'm here to get you ready for the holiday season and all the festivities that will be taking place with this season. This is definitely a great look for New Year's, doing something nice and smoky, bold, sexy, and then throwing that little punch of glitter on it will definitely make your eyes pop. So stay tuned and learn how to get this look. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow first since this is such a dark, intense look. And doing this prevents the fallout from ruining my foundation. I'm first priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this will start to create a nice adhesive base for all of our shadow today. Just blend it out with any blending brush. Next I'm taking the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the color Smoke to start darkening and intensifying the eyeshadow base. This is really great for smoky eye looks. Again, just blend it out with a blending brush. I'm adding another layer just to make sure that this stays really, really intense. And again, just blend it out. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the color Armor and applying it over to the lid. If you don't have this color, don't worry. Just use any silver shimmery color. Now I'm going to define the crease with just a black shadow. This is from the BH Cosmetics 120 Eye Color Palette, second edition. If you don't have it, just use any other black. Drag the eyeshadow out towards your temples just to get that cat look. And also take the shadow onto the lower lid to have a continuation of the smoky eye. Now I'm going to apply the glitter. I'm using the Sally Girl Sparkle Effects Adhesive and also the Sparkle Effects Glitter in silver. I make the mixture and pat it onto the eye. Just take your time with this part, it's no rush. Now I just use a white eyeliner and the waterline to make the eyes pop a more. And then blending it with the regular black eyeliner. This one's from NYC. Again, I go back and redefine the crease just a little bit. And I will use a 217 brush to blend out. Now I'm just using a Sephora liquid eyeliner just to go ahead and make that nice border on the upper lid. And this helps like the false lashes really blend into the eye as well. Since it's pretty dramatic. Now just use any dramatic false lashes for this look. These are just some ones I had laying around at home. For the foundation, I'm using Revlon Color Stay, and I use a damp beauty blender to apply this all over my face. Then I go back with a stippling brush just to continue to blend out the foundation. It gives it a really lovely airbrush look. Now I'm going back in with my concealer. This is one I have from Sephora, but any concealer of your choice will do. And I clean up the lower part of the eyeshadow with this and make it much more crisp and clean. Again, I just use that same damp beauty blender just to blend everything else out and give it that really lovely airbrush finish. Now from the BH Cosmetics Concealer Palette, I'm using just a lighter shade to start highlighting. It melted in the car, so that's why it looks all crazy. <laughs> I go back in and highlight the cheekbones a little more, because I really love for my cheekbones to pop. You can already see the difference. 
I highlight also my forehead area, that center region, my cupid's bow, and then I'll highlight the chin after this. I blend this all out with that same stippling brush. Again, it just creates everything so flawlessly. Now I just use a contouring powder of my choice. This one's from NYX. And I start to contour that lower part of the cheekbone. I blend it kind of up and down so it blends into my highlight really well. I also contour out the jawline and also the high points of my forehead into the temples. This gives your face such great dimension. Now just to set everything, I use my ultimate favorite Makeup Forever Translucent Setting Powder. This is an HD setting powder so it also helps on those nights you're going to have lots of photographs taken. This is the Sephora Duo Blush in Guava Glow. And it's just a really soft and gentle glow to the cheekbone. Now, go ahead and use a nude liner. This one is from Milani. And apply it all over the lips. This creates a really great base for your lipsticks. Today, I'm using the Revlon color in Pink Storm. This is a really nice light sheer pink for darker skin tones. And you can build the coverage. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the lip color with the Oyster Girl from MAC. It's lip glass. It's really super sheer. Love it. And that's it. You're all set. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more holiday looks. Bye.